This is Chicago. At the dawn of the 21st century, Chicago's media was dominated by a handful of major corporations. But a resistance movement arose to free Chicago's media from their clutches. One player in this movement is the Chicago Independent Media Center and its TV show, Chicago Independent Television. The Independent Media Center is a worldwide network of grassroots correspondents committed to using the tools of the media for promoting social and economic justice. You are watching this month's dispatch from the Chicago Independent Media Center. Welcome to Chicago Independent Television. A collection of progressive video reports by grassroots media workers produced free from corporate or commercial support or influence. I'm your host, Aaron Strong. In this episode, we'll hear a report on a recent protest against California's Proposition 8. We'll hear about Felony Franks, an innovative Chicago business designed to help ex-felons. We'll also see a dramatic local demonstration against the company formerly known as Blackwater. And finally, we'll review a Chicago peace protest held in a snowstorm earlier this year. Stay with us. Does AT&T hate freedom? Let's find out. Well, AT&T censored Pearl Jam, who criticized George W. Bush at an AT&T broadcast of Lollapalooza. So, yes. There you have it. Clear evidence that AT&T hates freedom. Help protect internet freedom. Visit these websites to learn more and get involved. AT&T, your world, delivered for a price. Welcome back to Chicago Independent Television. California's Supreme Court upheld the controversial Proposition 8, which banned same-sex marriage in that state. Protesters took to the streets in response across America and in Chicago. It's, they say, get back. We say, fight back. They say, get back. We say, fight back. On Tuesday, May 26, 2009, the California Supreme Court announced its ruling on a court case over the controversial Proposition 8 measure banning same-sex marriage in that state. The court upheld Proposition 8, maintaining the ban on same-sex marriage in California, but recognizing as valid the 18,000 same-sex marriages which were allowed in the state before Proposition 8. The ruling nevertheless spurred protests in more than 100 cities across America, including Chicago, where about a thousand people rallied and marched to protest the ruling from the center on Halstead on Chicago's north side on the same day of the ruling. The comedian and political analyst Bob Harris evoked a baseball metaphor with his comment on the situation, saying, quote, Gay marriage in California is like a 1920 spitball. It's illegal unless you did it before the rules changed. Speaking of baseball and Proposition 8, the center on Halstead, which saw Chicago's anti-Proposition 8 protest, stands a block away from Wrigley Field, which, at the time of the protest, was supposed to see the Chicago Cubs play a baseball game. That game was temporarily delayed by rain, but for the protesters angry over the ruling, there was no rain delay. The rally and march proceeded on schedule. In the great city of New Orleans, there's a tradition that when somebody is buried, the processional after has moments of somber music, moments of sadness, and then as quick as a lightning bug, there goes a jazzy and jubilant mood. They're not mourning a death, they're celebrating a life. Today, we have a defeat on our hands. We are here together in defeat. But brothers and sisters, we do not have time to mourn. No, what we need to do now is we need to take this moment to look inward. When we look inward, we have the strength to act outward. Who's ready to act outward? <laughs> this is not a new journey, friends. Our modern journey began just shy of 40 years ago. At the stone wall in New York City, a group gathered to 
is so that no more police raids would be allowed in their bars, not without public reprisal. They met this bigotry head on. They met this unfairness head on. They realized at that moment they were not indeed free. They realized that every single year of their lives to that point had been lived under oppression. We would not be standing here today but for the struggles of people who came before us. The people in the act ups, the people in the Gay Liberation Front, the people in the Mattachine societies. We would not be here but for the courageous lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender people who came before us. Now, Watching Chicago Independent Television. I see the soul of a nation. Nah, must be true because I've seen it on TV. Does Verizon hate freedom? Let's find out. While well, Verizon censored cell phone text messages sent by national pro choice political activist groups, so yes. There you have it. Clear evidence that Verizon hates freedom. Help protect internet freedom. Visit these websites to learn more and get involved. Verizon, we never stop censoring for us.